To pass this lesson, fill in the blanks and respond to the questions on the answer key to the right. Make sure to pay attention to this course to learn the correct answers. You will see a box like this containing the information you'll need for the answer portion. Pay special attention to the information in bold. Be sure to check spelling when answering. In this course, you will learn about the art of the Neolithic period. In this and future lessons, you may hear the term BCE. BCE stands for Before Common Era. It used to be just called BC. Basically, it just means any year previous to the year zero. You may also hear the term CE. CE stands for Common Era, and it used to be called AD. CE is any time after the year zero. In the last lessons, we learned about the Paleolithic period, or the Old Stone Age. Following this time period is the Neolithic. Neolithic means New Stone Age. It occurred between 10,000 and 4,000 BCE and is traditionally considered the last part of the Stone Age. The Neolithic began in the Mesopotamia region of southwestern Asia and expanded from there with what is called the Neolithic Revolution. According to most sources, the Neolithic Revolution began with a change in climate. The land became warmer, melting much of the ice that covered the land and therefore allowing for more plants to grow. Additionally, the change in temperature caused there to be less large animals. People had to find new sources of food, so they turned to agriculture and domesticated animals. This, in turn, caused them to stay in one place instead of being nomadic like the Paleolithic period. They built homes, and eventually they formed communities. Communities led to population growth and the division of labor. Now people could specialize in certain areas, such as farming, hunting, crafting, cooking, and more. Farming technology was invented, such as the plow. Trade began between communities and people had more free time. It's believed that religion became more significant part of daily life during this time. Like the Paleolithic period, what we now know about the Neolithic people is from the study of artifacts from ancient sites. Based on these archaeological digs and other research, we can divide the art of the Neolithic period into four categories. Rock art, pottery, idols or small statues, and megaliths. The first of these Neolithic art categories, rock art, is also called petroglyphs and pictographs. These images could either be painted or carved into a rock surface. Unlike the cave paintings of the Paleolithic era, such as those in Chauvet and Lascaux, pictographs and glyphs are found closer to cave entrances and even out in the open. They also depict more human figures than their predecessors. There are many theories to explain the purpose of these petroglyphs, depending on their location, age, and type of image. Some petroglyphs are thought to be astronomical markers, maps, and other forms of symbolic communication, including a form of pre-writing. Map images may show trails, symbols, communicating time and distances traveled, as well as the local terrain in the form of rivers, landforms, and other geographic features. Petroglyphs and pictographs have been found in all parts of the globe, except Antarctica. The second Neolithic art category is pottery. The earliest known pottery was simple in style, largely without decoration or simply decorated, and with rounded bases. The final Neolithic art category is the megaliths. 
A megalith is a large stone that has been used to construct a structure or monument, either alone or together with other stones. Megalith structures are made of huge stones, utilizing an interlocking system without the use of mortar or cement. Megaliths were most commonly built for tombs. It's also believed that they were built to mark celestial events such as equinoxes and solstices. Perhaps the most famous monolith is Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England. Archaeologists believe it was built around 3000 BCE. It stands in the center of the densest complex of Neolithic monuments in England, including several hundred burial mounds. The henge has been rearranged and deteriorated over time. However, although the stones aren't exactly as they once were, it still remains one of the most spectacular sites from Neolithic times. Stonehenge is surrounded by a circular ditch and bank that is believed to be the oldest part of the monument. The largest structure is 24 feet tall and the large stones weigh up to 50 tons. Smaller stones, called blue stones, are also used in the structure. They came from a quarry that is 250 miles away from Stonehenge. No one knows exactly how the builders of the megalith brought the several ton blue stones that far, and it's been the subject of much speculation. Because there are no written records from the Neolithic period, we don't know what the exact purpose of Stonehenge was. It could have been a burial ground. Archaeologists have found cremated human remains that date back to 3000 BCE. Many people believe that it was a religious site, built by ancient druids. Others argue that Stonehenge was a place for healing, and this accounts for the high number of burials in the area and for the evidence of trauma and deformity in some of the graves. Most people agree that the site was probably multifunctional, used for different purposes over the years. One fact is for certain. Stonehenge was built to view the winter and summer solstices. Here you see the sun rising during the summer solstice, directly over a stone called the heel stone. On the solstices, thousands of people visit the monument to celebrate.